welcome to heaven. Leave your sins at the door. Your name, please. Heaven. I'm dead. Yeah, dead. Shame too. You were really going places in that corner shop. It says here you're playing strip twister by yourself. Off your head on 13 cancer skull super. It was a right hand green left foot yellow combination. I finished it off apparently. Uh, are you Jesus? Jesus? No, no. I don't mean to make JC just yet. So you're St. Peter? Well, hey, Sherlock. Quick learner, I see. Well, Mr. Brown, I don't seem to have you on the guest list. Could you elaborate why you think you should be here? Uh, uh, I'd only the pounds a month to the RSPCA. Yeah, but it says here you cancelled your standing order after the first month. I used to help Mrs Johnson with her shopping every week. Yeah, but you charged that poor old dear 12 cans of super every time you went. And she only lived two minutes from there, Tom. Uh... Yeah. Let me help you out there, Mr Brown. Take a seat. The cons far outweigh the pros. But, but there isn't a seat. Exactly. Right, it says here, you swung a cat by its tail and launched it from the garden, clearing three fences. You skipped your granddad's funeral to watch Charlie's Angels 2 full throttle. You're part of the group that broke into a teacher's house and team shat in his bath. You laughed, you actually laughed when Mrs. Johnson fell off her bike and broke her hip. You called Jesus a knobhead 1,210 times and he heard every one of them. You often threw Lauren Steinberg's bags, books, watches, and clothes in the showers at school. You owned the Limp Biscuit album $3 Bill Yo. You were arrested for being drunk and attempting the 300 meter hurdles at your local primary school sports day. You once farted in church and blamed it on your deaf nan. You know all the words, and I mean all the words, to Aqua's 1997 hit, Barbie Girl. You flashed your knob, if you can call it that, at those Girl Scouts. You spent last Mother's Day in a pub chatting up a best mate. You haven't brushed your teeth for three years. You used to do your press-ups to Rod Stewart's back catalogue. You shat yourself in PE you, and put your soiled boxies in another lad's bag and blamed it on him. You masturbated the pictures of your own cousin. You broke your brother's wife's jaw on a wedding day for saying you had fat ankles. You had pretty fat as well. You told airport security staff that your dad had 13 kilos of heroin stuffed into condoms up his arse after his holiday to Turkey. He still can't look at a rubber glove. You sent a signed picture of your penis to your girlfriend's mum. You played Fuck the Kids by notorious gangster rapper and convicted paedophile D-Dog at a seven year old's birthday party. So, uh, what now? It's not looking good. Unless. 
unless you've got any of those pictures of your cousin. Oh well, just a thought. End of the lane then, till it starts getting warm.